Good morning. Welcome to Exploring Food with Smitty. And today I'm getting ready to make a recipe that's probably a little common, but it's a good cold day recipe. It's chili beans. And what I'm making is crackling cornbread. If you're from the old days, you know that crackling cornbread is cornbread and it has cracklings in it, which makes it delicious. So I'm gonna get my things together. Thank you for, for joining me and we'll get right back to it. Okay, when you're using dry beans, the one thing you wanna do is to pick them to get any foreign objects out. And what I usually do is pour mine on the table and I put like a strainer underneath and I pick them that way just to make sure that there's no rocks or any foreign objects in it. So you we have left after I took out that one little rock. So sometimes there's a lot of rocks and sometimes there's a little. Okay, so after you get your finished getting your beans picked, what you wanna do is come over to your sink and you wanna clean them with water just to make sure that you have all the dirt off of them and that they're good and clean. So after you get your beans all washed, what you want to do with them next is to pour them into your pot. Like so. They're all nice and clean. And then what I'm adding to my beans is vegetables because I'm making chili beans. And what I'm gonna do is save some of these to cook with the meat because I want my meat to have flavor also. And then after that, I'm gonna add in a little bit of my favorite red chili flakes. And then I'm going to put in my water. Now one thing about making your chili beans like this you put them on the stove and you let them do your, their thing. You don't have to worry about it or anything. If I were cooking regular pot beans, I would probably put them in. But since it's chili beans, I'm just going to put the beans in and let them cook. There. So I got my beans all in, my water's in. And then what I like to do too is to take the time to sprinkle in a little more garlic powder and sprinkle in a little bit even though I put some garlic in I like the way that's going to flavor the juice and then I'm going to put in a little onion powder And to that, I'm going to put in something that I'm almost out of, which is my Old Bay seasoning. And what do I say? Is I put that stuff on everything. So we're going to put in a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. Come on. I think this is the last of the Mohegans here. And then what I'm going to do is reach over here and I'm going to give it a stir. just so that everything gets mixed up. I'm gonna put my top on and I'm gonna put it on the rear burner on probably medium and I'm just gonna let it do its thing. So I'm done with that until my next step. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my ground beef because that's what's gonna go into my chili. So I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil. Now you can do this as your um, after your beans cook but I like to do it ahead of time because then I get it done and I get it over with it. Okay so this is some of the vegetables that I use to put in the beans to cook. I'm just going to put them in here and let them start to cook. Let's put that right there because I'm going to be putting it back in. So we're just going to let this come to temperature and start to cook our vegetables. Okay, so my Trinity is sauteing. And after it gets translucent, loose, what I'm going to do is add my ground beef. Okay, so now that my 
onions, as you can see, my trinity, as they call it, is all nice and translucent. What I'm going to do is to add my ground beef. Okay, so I'm just going to pour it in. And I'm going to start to let it brown. Okay. And so, and to that I'm going to add some, because we want our meat to have flavor. I'm going to add some garlic. Put a little bit of that in there, because we want it to have the flavor. And I'm going to add some onion. And I'm going to add some of my special salt seasoning. Okay, so let's set that aside. And let's get this going. all nice and cooked and I'm going to tell you the way to cook your ground beef without putting grease in it is to either let it make its own grease or to saute it put a little water in there and cook it that way that tastes so delicious because I don't like my ground beef and chili greasy so I'm just going to get this all cooked up and then we'll be back and see what we do next Okay, so as you can see, my ground beef is starting to brown. Let's move this over here. And it's a nice, good color. It's all nice and crispy brown. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of tomato paste because we want to get as much flavor out of here as we can. So then when it joins the beans when they're cooked the flavors will come together and it'll be really delicious so let's try to get some of this nice flavor in here let's put it in here because this is just part of the, the, the base of our beans we have our beans cooking and all that yumminess all of this out here and as I said it's going to flavor our beef and once we add this to the beans it's going to come together and be really delicious so let's get that in there and to this I'm going to sprinkle in some organic chili seasoning now we're gonna put more chili seasoning in, but we, like I said, we want our meat to be flavored. Let me sprinkle some of this in. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna let all of this come together until it kind of makes a juice. So delicious. Get it all incorporated. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit of water in there just for flavoring to really bring those flavors up. There we go. This joins our beans over there, mm -mm -mm -mm. but we still gotta let our beans cook. So, what I'm gonna do is take this and let this finish cooking down a little bit more, and then I'm going to add it to this my thing right here, my little Tupperware thing or whatever you call it. And I'm just gonna let it sit in there and let the flavors marinate while the beans are cooking. And then this is one last thing we have to do. So. 
when it's time to incorporate this into our chili beans, I shall be back. Okay, so let's check on our beans and see how they're doing. They've been cooking and they should be cooked down pretty good so that we could add our meat into it. So I'm just gonna take it off the back, bring it over here, and let's check it out. Oh yeah, there they are. You can see they've turned nice and brown, which means they're nice and done. Yeah, they're starting to break up. So this juice, if you look at it, is really kind of um, a little watery, but not much. Because the more the beans cook down, the better flavor they're gonna have. So here's where I'm going to add Remember the ground beef we made earlier? I'm gonna add that in here right now. Which has chili in it. There, so I'm gonna put this on here. Give us a stir. Like so. And then I'm gonna put them back on a low flame just so all of that juice and stuff can be incorporated into the, the yummy beans. So let me put this here. Let's put this back because these handles do get hot. Now, as an added thing that I usually do to my beans is, okay, I'm gonna put on a pot. I'm gonna add some olive oil in it. Not a lot, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. I'm going to burn my chili powder. So let's put some chili powder in here. This is gonna take the flavor level to a whole different level. So there we go. I have my spices in there. There's smoke coming, but it's from the burner where I wasted stuff. So I'm gonna give this a chance to burn and then we'll come back to the next. Okay, so as you can see, the chili powder is starting to toast. And like I said, when they do curry, they do this and they call it burning the curry. So I'm burning the chili powder just to give it flavor. It kind of wakes up the flavor in your food. And then once you put it into your pot, it's not just floating around in there. So let's get this all nice and toasted. Because you know all of the goodness of your food is in the bottom of your pan. A lot of people don't believe that, but it is. So here's what I'm gonna do. See all that nice juice in there? Let's get this all toasted. Oh man, and this is nice and thick chili. You don't even have to put anything in it. So what I'm going to do is to turn off my chili powder from browning. And there you can see that it's brown. And I'm gonna put this in here to clean this out. Mmm, if you could just smell this. And let's take a look at our chili beans. And let's see what they're looking like. Let's take the top off, and there they are. Ready to eat. So I'm gonna bowl up some of this, and then I'll come back to you so we can get a taste of it. Okay, so here is a bowl of our chili beans with crackling cornbread and it looks absolutely delicious. Okay, now let's have a taste. The beans are very, very hot. And one thing about chili beans is you can freeze them. So next time someone says, I wanna eat, but I don't want blah, blah, blah. You break out these beans and you warm them up. Mmm. Very, very good. I don't wanna smack because that's, that's disgusting. <laughs> There we go. Let's try our bread. It's 
This is our bread. It's nice, light, and fluffy. Mm, delicious. And the cracklings cooked in just perfectly. That's like once you put them in there, they reconstitute themselves and they become soft again and you're not crunching. But then some people like to crunch. Let's try another one with the cracklings. Mm -mm -mm. Hot, but delicious. So thank you for joining me on this episode of Exploring Food with Smitty. This is Black History Month, so stay tuned for some recipes from our Black culture. Like, share, and by all means, subscribe. And we'll be coming back to you with another recipe. Thanks for joining me.